Hello everyone, this is Ivan with Create Your Future. I am a certified life coach specializing in relationships and personal development. And today, I hope to have a very inspiring video for you all. And this video is about, it is done. Basically that, it is done. Your desires are already there, they're already yours, it's already coming in fruition. And the, what inspired me to do this video was a conversation I had with one of my clients this week. This client has experienced several successes, which I will share with you. She initially came to me because she wanted more commitment from her SP. She wanted more communication. She wanted him to be a little bit more present in every aspect of a relationship. And she was able to manifest the communication to the point where he calls, texts, and you know, FaceTimes her every single day. You know, she was able to man uh, consciously manifest spending the night, several nights during the week. Um, she also got amazing dates out of it. And she's continuing to get so much love from her SP. And it's clear that every session that we have, there is so much doubt that still linger within her. And, you know, and it's not about kicking yourself and saying, oh, well, why is it that I still feel this way? Well, what it is is that you're changing habits. You're changing this idea that you used to have, that you were limited to this. And usually when these habits happen, is because we fear certain things that we start to reflect onto our SPs, such as commitment, you know? And this is a conversation she and I had, was that maybe she feared commitment, and that was a block that, she, that wasn't allowing her, her for her full manifestation to come into fruition. And as we talked, she agreed with me that, you know, there was still a sense of her that didn't feel worthy of all this greatness. So what we started incorporating into her daily routines is, you know, having more sense of herself into her manifestations, manifesting versions of her that feels confident when she's in love, manifesting versions of her that feels comfortable and not that comfortable where it's like, I'm just allowing whatever to come in. No, this comfort to where she gets to enjoy what's happening, where she gets to enjoy what she's actually creating. And we continue on this manifestation journey. And one of the things that we um, discussed during this week was that we're always manifesting. And I discussed this in my previous videos. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. <laughs> I thought it was great. And what, what we were discussing was that when we were really young, and think about it, you probably have fantasized this romantic love story, you know, this, your dream girl or your Prince Charming, you know, at a very young age or maybe later in life, you know, you've always wanted this loving relationships. So what if right now you're actually experiencing your middle, your bridge of incidents? What if right now you're watching this video because something within you is telling you, hey, wake up, you're deserving of what you want and it is present for you. Just allow it to come in. Have you ever thought that maybe this is the growth that you need? And maybe by doing the techniques and really motivating yourself and inspiring yourself to believe that you are worthy of having absolutely everything that you want. And it is very, very possible. You know, the law of attraction, as I, I discussed before, is gonna give you what you are. So you want to start to embody this sense of love, this sense of peace, this, this sense of confidence. There isn't anything more attractive than a confident person. So how do you gain confidence? You know, you gain confidence by telling yourself how amazing you are, how great, how grand you are, how deserving you are. And even in those times where you can't believe that, guess what? Push through the pain to allow the success to come in. And that's what we mean by persisting in the idea that it is done. Persist in the idea that what you want is already yours. Allow it to be there, okay? And this is something that my, my client and I have been working on, and she's been able to manifest great things. As a matter of fact, um, she had contacted me because her grandfather was having some medical, um, she had, he had like a medical condition he was going through, and she was really worried. And we talked about her manifesting a version of him that is healthy, that is strong, that is recovering, that is, you know, you know, in the place where he has to be. And her grandfather, like, 
miraculously recuperate it. And I'm not saying that it was magic that I did to her. No, she just started to envision and affirm a side of him that she wanted to see and experience. She wanted to know she was 100% sure that she had the power to make sure that her grandfather was okay. And he was. And right now he's doing his thing and he's He's going about, and she is so happy and so inspired to keep on her journey because she is able to reflect greatness around her, okay? So one of the things I wanted to share with you today is something that I personally do. I think it's one of the best things that anybody could do while manifesting, and it's very common, and people should do it more, which is being grateful. Gratitude is so important when it comes to manifesting, and it's about being grateful about everything that you have. It's about every experience that goes on in your life and trying to see the best out of everything. Life isn't here to make you feel bad. Life isn't present for you to be like doubting yourself or fearing stuff. Life is here to teach you to become the best version of you. Now it's up to you what you choose to do with it. But if you choose to be grateful for the experiences, for everything that is around you, guess what? You're gonna be giving so much more to be grateful for. So I wanted to share with you something that I personally do that I really like, and it is actually writing letters to my higher self. Now, you could also write a letter to God or to the universe or whatever it is that you want to write to. But I, I wrote this letter one day where I was, you know, not feeling my ideal self. And I wanted to experience, a, I wanted to get into the states of gratitude, okay? So I wrote, I sat down, and I wrote this and I'm, I would like to share it with you. And actually, a lot of my friends, I brought this to them and they actually asked me if I could record myself so they could actually listen to it um, as a form of meditation. So if you wanna do that, just forward to it, go for it, whatever works for you, but here it goes. Dear higher self, thank you. You have brought so much incredible wisdom, growth, strength to me, and it continues. I feel so at peace with my now. I'm excited about tomorrow knowing that we are working as one. We are allowing for our tomorrows to be filled with love, gratitude, and success. Thanks to you, I can say with confidence that I am open and willing to love and to be loved. I am also very grateful for everything around me. Even, even taking a deep inhalation of fresh air makes me realize how incredible life is. It's amazing to see life with eyes of pure love, where everything, everyone reflects the best version of themselves to me. Every day I unfold into the most amazing version of me. You've allowed me to see that I have full control of my reality. I can make every second of my wonderful life count. I wake up with immense gratitude and always decide that this day will be better than yesterday. How incredible is it to be the master of my thoughts? I choose what I want and it comes to me with perfect timing and with ease. I've learned and embraced to trust myself and my desires. I have faith in my actions and my words. My desires persist because they are persisting on me. I am open, willing, and grateful to receive miracles and proof of growth in my work and everything wonderful you have for me to experience. I will remain persistent in the life and experiences I am creating. I know and guarantee it will only be filled with happiness, love, success, and well-being. I decide today that I will only allow myself to create out of a place of good. So this is a letter that I just wrote one a day, you know, in my journal. And any time that I'm kind of feeling down or, you know, maybe a sense of lack, I like to read that because there is so much to be grateful in life. You know, and something that I tell a lot of my clients is to start a gratitude journal, which I think it's one of the most amazing things to do. Find things every single day to be grateful for, whether it's a smile from a stranger, whether it's an inspiring video that makes you feel good, whether it's a song that has the, the perfect lyrics for your, your journey, whatever it is, be grateful for every single moment. There is so much out there. 
you know, so live and experience life. Allow yourself to see that you are capable of making all your desires come true. And it is absolutely done. You know, from that moment that you saw that Disney movie and you saw the happy ending, you started to manifest that happy story for yourself. And of course, right now you're experiencing your bridge of incidents. And sometimes there might be situations that might not feel so great. And it's okay because from those moments, you are growing. You are building boundaries within yourself of what you're wanting to allow in, or you're willing to accept in a relationship or anything that you desire. You know, so right now is your bridge of incidents. Your bridge of incidents doesn't always have to be these, you know, 1111 or, you know, seeing your SP's name everywhere or his, their car everywhere. No, bridge of incidents are experiences that are leading you to that end desire, to that accomplishment, you know, that goal that you have, that passionate, passionate desire you hold within. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my world with you in hopes to inspire you. Because every day that I have a session with a lot of my clients, I get inspired by them. And actually for this video, I had a completely different success story. But I think it's also important that through the successes that we experience as coaches, we're still going through a journey with our clients and they're still growing. They're releasing old habits and building new ones. They're building new habits that are allowing for these wonderful things to stay, to persist for them, you know? So if you're interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one session, link is below. And also remember that currently we are having a contest. As soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, they will be giving away three coaching sessions with the coach of your choice, okay? So that's awesome, okay? So comment down below how the law of attraction or the law of assumption has worked for you. How do you think you've consciously manifested some greatness, okay? Well, I hope this video helps and I hope that you feel very inspired by it. It is my intention for you. And I intend that you find the beauty within yourself to know that everything is possible. I intend that you are fulfilled with gratitude every single day and that you find everything that you find how incredible life is, period. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. It was awesome chatting with you and I hope to see you soon. Well, I'll see you next week, actually. <laughs> Bye.